Welcome to First Gear. I'm your host, David Fedor. We're here today at Budsmail Motor Cars in Greensburg, PA. We're going to review and test drive a Mercedes Benz vehicle. Thing is, I'm not a car guy, I'm a regular car shopper just like you. The way I like to do it is get into a car and take a look at all the buttons and the special features and check it out as we go. Today, we're really excited because we're going to review this beautiful 2018 Mercedes Benz GLA 250. This is First Gear. Let's go. All right, so before we go and jump in, take a look at the inside and take a test drive, we like to take one lap around and take a look at the exterior of the vehicle. And with this 2018, you can see the GLA 250 has a redesigned front end. So that awesome uh, that awesome star in the front there, and then the new features on the grill, awesome looking fog lights, very cool trim, neat looking front end. Coming around, we see the five spoke wheels there on the passenger side of the vehicle. Very nice color. Working our way to the back and we could see here, this was uh, some of the other changes, the molding to this area down here. Nice chrome tailpipes and everything's very nice and shiny on the back here. And I just love the shape of this GLA 250 tail end how it's almost, it's like a hatchback. It comes out. We have the gas access on the driver's side. Nice, nice roof rails up top with the different color chrome. Very, looks very nice. Let's take a look under the hood. All right, so let's take a look. Wow, nice big engine. As you guys take a look at it, I'll read off the sticker here, see what we have. 2.0 liter inline four turbo engine, 208 horsepower, 258 foot pounds of torque, seven G Tronic, seven speed automatic transmission. Eco start stop, all season tires, four matic all wheel drive with 23 city, 31 highway for a combined fuel economy of 26 miles per gallon. Nice looking engine there. Let's take a look at the inside. All righty. Oh, wow. Very nice leather. Let's not go too far in. Let's take a look at this door. All right, taking a look at the doors, you could see everything is very nice and simple with the nice black. We have your memory seat positions here and your seat controls on the door, your locks, your door handle, and check out this white stitching along the soft padded black sides. Very nice, very elegant, very luxurious. We have your window controls, your mirror controls, and a nice compartment down here with your hatch release here. We got a light here for you speakers built in working our way inside the car then first we take a look at the steering wheel and this is a very nice steering wheel so leather wrapped with the stitching here very soft very nice with the chrome accents everything with the touch pads at your thumb tips here we have your controls for your menus and then on the right we have controls for your phone. We've got the paddle shifters on the back here, allowing you to give you a little bit more of a sporty feel to it. We have washer, windshield wipers, and it looks like some lights controls here on the left side. Down here we have your cruise control, the accelerate and the decelerate. And then on the right, of course, we have your gear shifter. It's uh, electronic, so you don't have to worry about controlling it manually. It's push button, push up, push down for the controls there. We'll take a look at the center console here. Some of this is new for 2018, uh, redesigned a little bit. I'm gonna push the button to turn it on, get some, there we go. And you could see right there in the middle, we have your driver's assist and all your different menu screens there in the middle that you could cycle through. We see the ventilation 
very cool looking with the chrome and everything down here more light controls it looks like your parking brake release here and then the foot, foot pedals and everything down there everything nice and black on this interior very slick looking so working our way across the middle here we have your screen to show you your different settings across the top here and then of course down here is the knob that you twist and push to select and control that information uh, underneath that then you have your ventilation and then your controls looks like we have the CD player we have some manual push button controls for the things up here on the screen heated seats with this model and we have your other driving assist features right here in the middle ventilation controls underneath that and we have a compartment we have a 12 volt connector there it does not double as a cigarette lighter just has that old school style to it so that's a 12 volt charger and then your cup holder here nice details nice trim looks nice with some more cup holders and everything again your knob and buttons that control the screen looking at the armrest Nicely softly padded with a nice stitching that matches the door and the steering wheel. Let's take a look inside. Ooh, nice deep compartment with two USB connectors so you could charge your phones. Very nice. And this is very softly padded, and very nice as well. It looks like, yep, it slides back and forth for you too so it has a little bit of control over over things if we take a look here up at the top we have a stock number we have your sun visors with light popping up here with the mirror check let's see how everything looks working our way over here we have your glasses compartment nicely softly lined in there to keep your glasses okay we have your light controls looks like those light up here whether they're for the door or on or off and then working our way here we could see your emergency contact buttons and rear view mirror and then working our way over from here we could see the dashboard again nice simple clean elegant not a whole lot of designs or any kind of distracting features as we open the glove compartment let's see again nicely softly lined just like the glasses up top to keep your things safe and in there and then taking a look down we can see the nicely carpeted Mercedes Benz and then you can even see it on the door outside there as well with the badging and then let's take a look at these seats because these seats are really comfortable very soft nice leather with the stitching as well and again with these it comes with the heated seats so these are the heated seats as well very nice very awesome what is this here pointing to this oh look at that nice little thigh extender here So that gives you some nice options. I wonder if mine has that too. Yep. So, oh, wow. You don't think that that would do a lot, but that actually makes it a much more comfortable, more comfortable ride. So a lot of optional functionality with these front seats. A lot of fun. So very impressive, very nice, simple, elegant front seat here with the 2018 GLA 250. Let's take a look at the back seats. Okay. Wow. 
very nice back seat. You can see it's very similar with the leather and the stitching as up front. Taking a look at the door, simple, elegant stitching, cup holders, speakers, just like the front doors, very nice. Just the window control back here for your driver, or I'm sorry, your back seat passengers. The back seats looks like we have the nice bench like straight across like the classic seats we have it looks like a little bit darker like maybe a gray stitching as opposed to the white stitching back here with the black seat belts and then i'm six foot three so i was sitting comfortably up front now i'm sitting in the back we did not move this seat at all i was sitting comfortably up front and now six foot three sitting very comfortably back here my knees are at the back of the seat but if you could see the seats a little carved out there's an indentation here so that you can have taller passengers in the back seat and they could still fit very comfortably so it's very nice back here and this pulls down and we have uh, armrest for the back seat passengers and boom. <laughs> that never gets old I love that every time we have the cup holders built in to this armrest so that looks sweet and then we have a headrest for the passenger in the middle and then we might have to go into the trunk to see but we might have door access here so let's take a look. Let's jump in the back and take a look at the cargo area back there. Okay, so let's take a look. We have the hatch release right here, right in the middle. So we open that up and we could take a look. We have, that's just gonna go all the way up. We have lights here and your handle right here on the back. Now, this right here might be the backup camera. So we might have to test that out once we get the test drive because I don't see the backup camera. It must raise and lower once you put in reverse. So we're gonna test that out once we're out there. As we open up here, we could see another handle here, or you could just push this button to raise and lower your hatch as well. Um, we're taking a look here at the tonneau cover. Let me get this stuff out of here. Some of the accessories that come with the vehicle are right here, back here right now. We're gonna put that here, but we're gonna take a look. This tonneau cover will be able to, as it is closed, it'll cover whatever is going on inside there so that you can't see into the back seat, or I'm sorry, the back um, trunk space, so that if you're carrying and, and transporting things, nobody's peeking in and taking a look. So you can see here we have two cargo nets on each side and then some tie down latches on the side as well a 12 volt input here and then here's that door handle oh it's got a little like a lock type thing so you could see into the back seat so if you need to get back here while you're driving say you're on a road trip you could access back here just by reaching back or if you're transporting anything and uh, i've been told this traditionally has started uh, with skis so you could have your skis coming out um, and, and transporting that that way as well. Um, very nice size. Let's take a look under here. This pulls up and we have a crate here for you. Some tools there for you in case you need anything, anything like that. So that's for being towed. Oh, that's your tow hitch. The, so if you need to get towed or if you need a cup holder in the storage area back here, you have that too. And then let's take a look at how these fold down then. I'm gonna come up here, right up here next to... Wow, that was very easy. Right next to the armrest, I'm sorry, the headrest at the top, those fold right down very simple one touch and and they fold so opens it up a lot more room to transport things you could fit so many uh plants back here 
we like transporting plants on first gear. That's what we do. Um, so yeah, very awesome, very nice, very functional. Let's see how this thing drives. Let's take it on the road. All right, so before we get out onto the road, we want to test out that backup camera. We're going to put the car into reverse, and you can see, pow, it just popped open right there. And now you can see behind you, and then as you turn your wheel, your guides here on the front will let you know where you're going to be going. And then as you're backing up, your lines will let you know how close you are from the vehicle behind you and then you can park and down on the bottom here we have different views that you could take a look at and you could see more of a panoramic view or straight back so oh yeah because it's not touch screen um, so if you go here you can see more of a panoramic view you could see the sides of your vehicle a little bit more or you could see just straight back so as we are here stopping, waiting to go out onto the highway, I told you when we read through, it has that auto start stop, so it helps your fuel economy. If you're going to be at a prolonged red light or something like that, it'll shut the engine off so that you're uh, not wasting fuel. And then start back up as you press on the gas pedal and then take off. So first impressions, nice get up and go. We were able to accelerate without any problem and it's a very comfortable seat very comfortable drive almost sporty like with these these seats it kind of cups you you're sitting a little bit lower it's 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 like a compact drive with a compact suv kind of like that crossover style where it's not huge and large um, and it's still a very comfortable very sporty drive now you could see on our side view mirrors here, if you take a look, you could see that orange hazard triangle. That's gonna be your blind spot assist where it will let you know if something is in your blind spot. If you're driving below a certain miles per hour, it'll be on because it's telling you always be aware of what is going on in your surroundings. And then when you pick up a speed on a highway or on a longer stretch of road, uh, it'll turn off until something's in your blind spot. So we're, we'll test that out now. So now we're accelerating. It's gone away. You can see now it lit, lit up red because that car just came in my blind spot. It, if I put my blinker on, you could hear it. It audibly beeped for me so I knew that there was somebody in my blind spot and it also flashed that red light. All right, so these driving assist features here, you can see one of these buttons says dynamic select on it. We're gonna push that. You can see on our center console here and on our screen, it shows you the different driving modes that you could toggle in between to give yourself a little bit different feel of a drive. So between comfort, sport, individual, which you could code for your own preferences, off-roading and eco it lets you control how you like to drive super fun options now that we're off the highway and onto these side streets and roads as you're making these turns like i said it almost has a sporty feel to it um, because you're kind you're you're sitting a little bit lower with the dashboard and everything up here so I'm sitting a little bit lower than I usually experience in my own personal car. Um, so it's it's fun taking these turns. I'm sure if you do the dynamic select and put it into uh, those different modes and with the paddle shifters, you can have a lot of fun driving this car. And it's also a functional, you know, larger SUV. So you have more cargo area and more space than just a traditional trunk. Seats fold down everything. Very nice, impressed, I'm impressed.
So that's been our review and test drive of the 2018 Mercedes-Benz GLA 250. If you have any questions or want more information, leave comments in our comments section below. We love hearing from you. You can always also check out SmailMercedesBenz.com. Be sure to like Smail Mercedes-Benz Facebook page the, uh, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date our current offers and see all of our new videos. This has been First Gear. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.